answered the letter. Now, like me, you are a part of this place. Shrieker, I don't have time for this. Why? Why, Shrieker? Stupid bird. There's so many different Shrieker events. Why this one? <laughs> Why this one? <sighs> no, Juliet. Juliet stayed out. <sighs> All right, let's go get stressed. Let's go get stressed. Yeah, it's the, it's the one that steals the trinkets. It stole eight trinkets. It stole eight. I mean, I could double check. Maybe it's inconsequential which trinkets it stole. Uh, let's go through. We still have a Hell's Hairpin, so it stole one of those. Not a big deal. Uh, also another trinket that we need. Sacred Scroll. It stole Dismas' head. Uh... It actually didn't steal much that we need, if anything. But, uh, so we still have a Hell's Hairpin. I don't know if we actually have to waste the week fighting it, honestly. I mean, we could. Let me see what else is going on. But, I mean, we still have our Hellion set up. We still have our Dodge set up. Uh, we still have Wilbur's Flag. I don't think anything still is, actually. Still have the bat, Blastless Vile, Sacred Scroll. The only thing that we really lost of any consequence is Dismas' head, but we don't even use that anymore. So... I think we'll... And there's a Long Apprentice Dungeon. Hmm. Is there any trinkets? Just go over the bird of the nest. Usually don't do either. Usually just survive for five rounds, get my trinkets back, and leave safer that way. Depends on what I'm trying to do, I guess, but yeah. I might not need to go. I, I Since I've been keeping so many trinkets and not selling them because we don't have the bank, um, they really didn't steal anything that we need. Yeah, I don't think it can steal trophies either. You can look it up, though. Yeah, because you wouldn't be able to get those back any other way than the Shrieker, so... Still shield breaker trinkets? No. Those are a trophy as well. You can't even sell those. You hold shift, the ones that get grayed out when you hold shift. Uh yeah, those ones I don't think are stealable. Just to be seen. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really think it might just might not be worth wasting a week going. I mean, I I'm not really afraid of anyone dying to it. We'll get a lot of stress. But I was going to take a team that's just going to last five rounds and be done with it. But we'll get a lot of stress, we'll get disease, and we might end up spending more on that than what the trinkets are worth. Um. Yeah, it doesn't look like... That's the birdie. It doesn't really look like we need to go, right? I'm not missing it. We'll get Dismas' head back. We're going to run into more secret rooms and collectors, so it's not a big deal. I really can't think of... We lost a Feather Crystal... But I don't use two of those. I'm not, I'm not misremembering anything here, right? We lost a... Do we have two moon rings? I don't think we did. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it. I don't know. I don't remember if uh, they ever changed that or not. Used to, if you didn't go get it, the strings are gone. I don't know if they changed that. Because I've pretty much always gone. I usually steal something that's valuable because generally I don't keep any trinkets that we're never going to use because we have the bank and we need that income from selling them, but... 
the Daz, so see. It's Quirk. Maybe not the best option, yeah. Solar stuff, unacceptable. <laughs> nah. Alright. We're just gonna go get more meter out of the way. Get it out of the way. Anemic. Natural eye. Rank up. Hold the line. This hamlet shall not Has to fall. Die. Scabbard. Thank you for the host of the raid. Thank you, Scabbard. Let's go for Scabbard stream. Welcome, welcome back. I'm Adam. It's Adam versus everything, and we all playing Darkest Dungeon. Of course. Uh, if you have any questions about Darkest Dungeon, just let me know. Happy to answer questions. Welcome in. Free to hang out. <laughs> right, brother mod, you're getting traded out. Again, I know. Well, let's be honest. You weren't a very good occultist anyway. So. Send this one to journey elsewhere. For hey, Mug, thank you for coming over. Scabbard. Stock. How's it going, Scabbard? What's what you up to? <laughs> Where's our map? Uh, so I guess it's good that I kept some extras <laughs> for him to steal. Potatoes. Glad I'm not hurting the burb. Yeah, there's no real need to. I mean, must be like the first time I've ever not went and stopped the, uh, the shrinker after it took trinkets, though. I think ever. That's all right. Any advice to a new player? If you're playing on Radiant or on Darkest difficulty, there's no game over mechanic. So knowing that, you can experiment as long as you don't mind re-leveling things up. So the big thing on those two difficulties is that you can have as many deaths as you want and you can send people away as many times as you want. You can um, send people packing if they're not good or if they've gotten too uh, beat up to worry about really healing and you haven't put much money into them. Just remember that the characters are a resource. They're a means to an end. They're not you. They're what you as the heir of the ancestor is using to fix this problem. So um, on those difficulties, they're expendable. It's, it's really worse to lose good trinkets than it is to lose characters on those. Um, the only other thing I would say is uh, make sure you take characters that can hit every position of the enemy you ranks because a lot of times it's it takes the same like action economy role that most of these turn-based strategy games take. Whereas if you have more actions than the enemy uh, through killing one of them or stunning one of them, you're probably going to be victorious, right? So if you, the more people you have that can gang up on a single target, single high priority target, like a stress caster and kill them uh, early on, the better, because then you can either use your extra actions over the enemy to stress heal or heal or you know stun or whatever. Those are the two biggest ones. People are a resource and uh, make sure you take units that's heroes that can uh, hit those back ranks. After he won't die in real life from dying in games, right? Sure, cannot seal trophy. Yeah, I, I wouldn't think they could. It's interesting that there's no information out there on it, though. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. Muzz can only go there, I think. Do we get any really bad negative quirks off any of that stuff? Let's see. Uh, take out wasting sickness, so it's not that big of a deal. We already got rid of. They have syphilis, all right. All right. But if you have any like specific questions, you can let me know as well. It's a lot easier sometimes to answer like, what's the best for X or what's the best for Y, than it is just like, tell me the best stuff in the game. Uh, suck. Crusaders are good, but you need to start them in position three or four. 
So generally when I take a Crusader, I start him in position four or three so he can Holy Lance kill the Stress Casters. And then as soon as the Stress Casters are dead, no matter where he's ended up, he can then switch over to Stress Healing. Uh, but yeah, Leper, whoops. I already did this. Leper is not good. I mean, in normal light, he's fine if he has accuracy, but still might as well just use the Hellion, honestly. Okay, let's go back out. I think I'm done with all the town stuff. Uh, there's going to be quite a bit of camping, too, though. So I should check Brother Mod since they're new. Make sure they have camping skills set up. <laughs> Sharpened Spear is enough, actually. All right. Long, long dungeon. Yeah, no problem, Maverick. Like I said, if you have any questions at all, just let me know. Uh, generally, like a good team, if you're looking to set up just a decent team anywhere, bring someone that has a decent heal, bring someone that can stress heal, and then bring two people that can hit any position. There's some kind of caveats to that, obviously, but it's a good, like, basis to start building teams around. Food, shovels, uh, keys. Should be fine. So food, shovels, cure interaction. Uh. Okay. Died in real life. <laughs> Yeah, I would kill all. I'd have no viewers. <laughs> Almost all my viewers would be dead. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble life? Well, there's a secret room, which is good. But it's awfully early to get a secret room eating up our inventory space. I'm not going to complain, though. That's why we took the map. Uh, okay. I guess I'll use the key. Uh, me slow people. Okay. Doing okay. okay. Just tired. So, you know, typical. Carried home. I start mission over just to go home. Doesn't get better than this. Just go home. A handsome reward for a task. Time for that one percent shambler. <sighs> What'd you get this time? An abomination. <laughs> Only an eight. Uh, we'll do an early camp in this room. Get rid of some inventory space. Death My lord, we've gotten crit so much tonight. The slightest lapse in concentration you get abomination a lot, you? Grows. Feels like you've been getting it a lot. Uh, leaf, thank you for the follow. What a bit leaf. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Lost if it was a shambler. Again. That basically never happens. How's it going, leaf? My bot's trying to tell you something. Don't listen to it. Phoenix taught that bot some weird stuff. Can't always be trusted. Annihilated. That'll do. That'll do, brother mod. The blood quickens. That'll also do. Good job. Brother mod has learned the strategy. Always dodge, always crit. Uh, he's done next round, so we can actually stall this round. Playing in Dursers 2 when you woke up. So sad. That would be sad. But if you had woken up and there had been an announcement while you were asleep, you would have thought you were a prophet. Sent by the ancestor himself. Caution yet? Uh, Big Joe kind of did. Big Joe finished it, but he got the two deaths on the hearts. He didn't try to go deathless. I wouldn't have been able to do that. And I don't mean anything like against him at all. But if, if I had gone through that same challenge, he's been doing it for a year and got to that point, you better believe I would be two manning the heart. There's no way. The wounds of war can be healed. Yeah, he finally, uh, he, or he eventually, I should say. I don't want to say finally because it makes it sound 
uh, like negative, but uh, he did eventually do it. But then he let himself get the two deaths on the heart. Which I guess technically means we're still the only person that's ever done, that we know of, that challenge. Completely. Alright, what's strategy besides stall? My two man heart was Crusader and Houndmaster. And we've done it like three times. Crusader, Houndmaster, both with the best dodge trinkets in the game. Houndmaster does nothing but uh, guard the Crusader. We dodge 95% of the time. And if we don't dodge something, the Crusader can then stress heal and heal back up before we continue attacking. That's what we did. It was the safest way to kill the heart with no deaths. Like, we could have tried a one-shot, but I felt it was riskier doing that hope. that way. You can see that whole challenge run, if anyone has it, execution challenge, uh, including the two-man heart. The two-man heart. She had all of that, plus 23% crit. The match is struck. Do you remember the anything about it? Sad, was it was real. <laughs> Try the one shot this time around, just for fun. Even the only the way I'll do the one shot this time on preventing passage. is if we have enough deaths left to try one. So I'm not gonna risk the the run on it. So it just depends, I guess, how many deaths we have when we get there. We died on the last mission. Yeah, it doesn't take any way, anything away from his challenge run. I just don't. I just. If you've done. You're going a year and have been deathless. Finally. All the way to the last Darkest Dungeon. Oh, the other thing that he did differently is he didn't do the Darkest Dungeons at the end. Again, it doesn't make it any easier. But man, we had a run where we made it all the way to the first Darkest Dungeon quest after doing every single boss without deaths, and then I had a death on the shuffler of all friggin' things. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Later, there's just your man arms. And then I started over. I got up, I went and told my wife that I lost, I used the bathroom, and then I came back and I started new run. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Big Joe did a deathless run uh, until the heart, and he got those two deaths. And then he also did the Darkest Dungeons earlier in the run. First style. <laughs> Crump, paranoid good reason these days uh if you do the fourth darkest dungeon it removes the death limit and the weak limit yeah decimated yeah. after you beat the heart stress. Let's count your deaths. Much your surprise. Ended your run on the heart. Oh. You laughed about it, though? Man, that's painful. That's painful. Compassion is a rarity you are not a Grievor fan? Kind of like her in your torchless runs for the scouting plus trap disarm. She's a little too fast Their with how little health she has broken. for me in torchless runs. Maintain the offensive. Um, I've... So I, I used to use her in our very These early Torchless runs, can be and can she was one of our characters that died the most. A lot of times because she would um, she would get like crit to death's door with a bleed or a blight, and then she was still even on death's door with a minus like one speed or whatever. She was still fast enough to go before everyone else. Why didn't I loot that? I was talking. Anyway, she's still fast enough to go before everyone else, and then she would die, and that was a trap anyway. Is there a difference when you decide to go fight the Darkest Dungeon? No, it, it doesn't really make a difference. I like doing it at the end because it's kind of like the culmination of the run. 
You can do it anytime you want. Paid for in blood. In fact, there is there are some reasons to do it earlier. For instance, if you're on Stygian or Blood Moon, it does remove the game over mechanics uh, once the heart's beaten. Also, uh, when you have people that have gone to the Darkest Dungeon, they get a little torch by their name, which means they'll never go back to another Darkest Dungeon. However, uh, if they're in the party with like some other level five or whatever, it gives them more experience no matter where they go. In which case, it helps you level your other level fives up. Uh, yeah, you can go whenever you want. I just did it because it was like a good culmination. It seemed, it would have seemed weird had we went and done all four Darkest Dungeon quests and then the thing that we completed the run on was like the cannon or something, you know? It's like the brigand. It's like, oh, uh, well, looks like we did it. Sorry, so you tried to one shot the final boss with Jester and did 100 no crit with like an 80%. Ugh. Feels bad. That feels bad. Style points. Where people would ignore level restraints. Yeah, it's a pretty rare one. Yeah, we actually got one on this run early on too. Yeah. And I used it to send like one or two level threes to go finish up a veteran boss. Or I mean a uh, princess boss. Uh, and it missed him. I really don't want to camp again already, but might. Might do it. It's crazy too, because he has the Look of sanity, but death by the Hound Master's stress heal just keeps missing him. Fearful. It's my luck tonight, man. Eradicated. Trinket, eh? It's okay. Oh, plus hit. Yeah, it doesn't work. That would be awesome. <laughs> if that worked. I would absolutely do that. If plus hit worked for the stress heal. The map is plus 10%, and then the Book of Sanity is minus 20%. So he's actually at a minus 10%, uh, which is also what the v Vessel... No, Vessel's at plus 10%. He's at minus 10. So it is weird they're targeting him. I think it's just because he has more stress than currently. Just everyone that time? Yeah. Rusty. Oh my god, we hit one. Busted. Yeah, everyone else just having the time of their life. Be wary. I don't mind. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Oh my god, I'm gonna camp again. I gets rid of some of those buffs, but I gotta do it. And vulnerable. Rats in a maze. The way is lit. The path so, idea is not the end of the act. You kind of have to bring a vessel and Jester to go fire. Dungeons. Your safest bet. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully the next game has more variety off of uh solo healers and solo stress healers you know if they go the same sort of route in general don't blame the poor doge now i'm blaming rusty blaming rusty so we're gonna try to kill the uh blood letter first since he can cause stress without even uh having to crit so he has two moves that just cause stress you're gonna stress you. Oh my god, Rusty. Come on. Let's have it a long hiatus for everywhere else. Uh... Oh, well struck. It's interesting, too, though, because there's modded classes that do stress healing and healing. A lot of those classes aren't. I mean, they can just two numbers to make them overpowered, obviously, but a lot of those still aren't quite as good as Jester or Vestal in that specific role. Or it's been like a year since I used modded characters. 
That could all be a lie now. Their cursed champion falls. Uh, rush shot has really low accuracy. So we're gonna put them in front. Oh, missed again. Help camping. Okay, missed it. Missed that part. Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't want you to kill them, but I guess that'll do. Trying to get a crit heal, so it stress heals them. Probably shouldn't have, but... She only knows killing you. She can't Success not crit. So clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Some more hint I mm -hmm. <sighs> <laughs> nice. Oh, the Shambler map. Man, I wish I had this early on. That would help. That would have helped in this run. <laughs> Do have some holy water. Two Arbalists. I should have hit position three. That was so good. I know. It's like our sixth uh, Shambler trinket or some ridiculousness. Uh, I probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to. Judge. Brother Mod doing exactly enough damage to one shot a Bone Arbalist with a crit. Nice. Well, the crit Iron quakes. Swan anyway. Oh, I roll bottom end. Bottom end. Stone fire? Yeah. Yeah. For crit at the moment, it's 36%. Uh, we stunned, so I'm going to stall this round. Try to get one more stress healing. And that'll be a 30, so it's actually almost all the way down. Draw some. Yeah, so good. Can't believe we lost that one tonight. Be gone, Your favorite? Mine also. Mine also. <laughs> I should have thrown out the bandages instead, but I guess it doesn't matter. Plus three, nine guaranteed. I know. Just blame Rusty though instead. Okay. Dog's doing his be the best he can. He just he's had poor training. Take the whip out, so. Those vessels for you. As far as uh, what you think the best characters are, or your favorite. Hyman, Hellions are close behind. Yeah, I like Hyman a lot. Go. Oh my god! Talk about the Hyman almost walk on top of a trap. <laughs> it's been kind of crazy if we had just failed it anyway. Favorite. I still wonder why this is the only curio in the game that they put the shovel in for you. And if you click this, it doesn't use the shovel, even though the shovel's there. I remember when I first started the game, I, I didn't understand. I was like, why am I still getting stress? I'm using a shovel. How much do I get without a shovel? I never understood. The only thing in the game like this.
got you two in the beginning. It's so weird. It's the only thing. Ability, also lore art. Yeah, mine too, yeah. Exactly the thing, yeah. I don't know. I don't get it. Maybe it's just Red Hook trolling everyone that's new to the game. Display port HDMI for monitor connection to your PC. Display ports, generally. Display port. It's going to depend on your your monitor and your graphics card a little bit. On, I mean, either way, display port's the way to go if you have that option. Main has a display port. Secondary has HDMI. Yeah, yeah. Use the display port to the main, yeah. That'll allow you to get the full refresh rate out of whatever monitor you have. Or with X. Stand there, staring at it forever. <laughs> Throw potions to be engines at the rocks. Unplayable. Oh, that's another thing I've done on accident. Oh, I just got a steam pop up. Or why would you check it after this dungeon? It's another thing I did a long time ago when I first played, not on purpose, but I accidentally right clicked uh, a camp on a curio once and just wasted the camp on the curio. It's so long ago. It was like within my first 10 hours of playing or something. Great, been saving for about two years. 5,000, that's crazy. Congrats though, congrats. Uh, lo if you have it, like, Oh, sorry. The links are automatically timed out by the bot. Just because every night we have bots come in and post links to other streams and stuff. So, yeah, no worries. Um, if a mod's around, they could post or do the command to allow you to post the link. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Thank you. Um... Yeah, man, that's crazy. If you haven't already loaded up one of the really graphically intense games that looks like beautiful on PC, uh, if you don't have one of those, I'd strongly suggest you get one of those and load it up rather than like, uh, all right, I just spent 5K on a PC. Time to load up Darkest Dungeon and League of Legends. <laughs> that's what most people do, though. <laughs> I was bad about that, too. It's like, man, I really need a new graphics card. Get a new graphics card. Let's play StarCraft anyway. Straight Ultra, Tracing. Yeah, Witcher 3 is a good one. WoW Classic, yeah. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Has some of the best graphics I've ever seen. <laughs> WoW Classic on a 2000 computer, yeah. I do see that a lot though, where people are asking for advice, like, should I upgrade my 2700 to a 2800 or whatever? Impressive. 20. I, I got those backwards anyway. 2070 to 2080, I don't know why. I was thinking of the uh, Remind yourself uh, that CPU. Anyway, 2070 to 2080, I'll see that on Reddit. They're like, well, what? You're not gonna get that much of a difference between 2070 and a 2080. So if you already have a 2070, you might as well wait. What kind of games are you playing? They're like, you know, I play I play League and Hearthstone. Like, no, I think the 2070s do need plenty, plenty enough. GX 680 release, With grab one. I'm hooked on playing old text-based mud. <laughs> Zabata. Sweetie, whistles, yeah. I can actually see the individual crumbs in the cornbread. Oh, on uh, Red Dead. I need my Minecraft shaders to shade even harder. There's some crazy mods and overhaul graphic things. That are, I've never played Minecraft, but I see pictures sometimes Solus, on Reddit where it looks like friggin' Skyrim. And then you'll see the little Steve guy or whatever run by, and it's like, <laughs> it's so jarring. Oh. 27.7. Yeah, I'm sure that'll look good. Did it a lot. They got super player games as well. Better graphics hard for Dwarf Fortress. So. Shaders and stuff are incredible. Yeah, I cannot believe some of those. You'll have, like, I'll see. It'll be like, here is the Minecraft map I've been working on for the last five years. 
80 hours a week and it'll be like a perfect replica of all of Middle Earth. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, how? Yeah, it doesn't even look like Minecraft, yeah. Masterfully Hyperlistic cornbread, so real. Look, and you can almost taste it. New smell of vision. Pretty 8K shaders, and it was nuts, jeez. <laughs> For a second, you thought they were talking about Minesweeper? <laughs> <laughs> Texture mods for Minesweeper. Just wait until you see Solitaire. Oh, I got an email, actually, from a developer for 3D Solitaire. And it looks just like the old Windows Solitaire that was, you know, on free on every Windows uh, computer that you would get. And they were like, you could really tell it was one of those... Um, forum emails they sent out to like every single streamer past a certain viewer count or something because it was like hello Adam versus everything we have looked at your channel we have watched your videos and your clips and we really think based on what you play that our new solitaire 3d would fit your channel perfectly it's now available on Steam Please reply if you'd like a free key in order to stream the game. I appreciate it, but it's definitely one of those uh, poor emails. Buy super shaders to come a long way. <laughs> Pokemon Red, full game. Yes, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. I saw that on Reddit, too. Program the entire Pokemon Red giant Game Boy screen inside Minecraft. In Minecraft, you walk up to it and you can play the whole friggin' game. It's inside, no. But did I get the free key? No. I told them no. I told them no. Let's just be careful here in Garter. She probably doesn't need it, but... A singular strike. A singular strike. So you can overclock your CPU. Uh, the best thing to do, actually, what I would look into, Mislobia, if you're not, um, if you've never done overclocking, if you're wanting to do it to the CPU, the, your best bet is actually to go through your BIOS. So if you look up like uh, overclocking Ryzen 3900X BIOS for your, uh, your motherboard you'll probably find a detailed guide about it the downside of doing it through the bios is you're more likely to damage something maybe if you kind of go overboard or a lot of like software can't won't let you do that but uh i have my 2700x overclocked in the stream pc and then i have my i9 uh, whatever it is, overclocked too. But it, yeah, it depends on your motherboard quite a bit too. I'm sure AMD has some kind of software in general if you want to do it as software on the desktop itself. But generally, you get it seems like you get better results going through the BIOS and you have more control over things in there. But it's a little bit more more complicated. The board should be fine. Four point three. Yeah, as long as you have uh, cool and like the 3800 and stuff like that doesn't run all that super hot anyway. So if you have good cooling, yeah, 4.3s. I think that's actually what my 2700 is running at. Can't remember. 4.3, 4.4. Um, we don't even need that stress relief. I can't believe we were almost afflicted this game. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna get rid of these. Or golds. We have a chance of getting a uh, loot in there now that we're not gonna use holy water. Uh, so we'll do it. Loot. We'll go ahead and check these curios. Were you over? Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> and then I just got rid of the holy water. We run into that. That would happen. That would happen. I mean, almost virtue, yeah. Could staunch the flow Absolutely. Otherworldly corruption. Oh, I was pushing up. 
Runs to 8. Dies from that. So we do have to go over here. It's the last shovel we need. There is a type of curio in here that can use a shovel, but probably won't worry about it too much. How many more hunger procs do we get? Not this many. Don't even need to count, count them to see that. Um, so we're immune. We can only get one more hunger proc if we're just going for the... Another fountain. Another fountain. Orca's just been critting a lot. Inspiration and improvement. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, Grumpy. Hey, Grumpy Monkey, what were your scores this week? Rips. Those are your best bet for the CPU, Misa. Uh, and for your GPU. Another thing I would suggest is that you get a benchmarking program, one of the free ones. I think I used Heaven something benchmark when I was messing around with my uh, GPU. And that way you can tell, uh, because even though your computer might seem stable sometimes at those higher uh, overclock values on your graphics card, you won't really be able to tell until you get into game and go through all fast and some games so run one of those benchmarks like overnight or something every time you change it and then save what they hit probably the best thing to do long term thank you reezy 179 197 201 201 back to the pit nice so what are you averaging now then grow monkey about 190 I mean, not just this week, but I mean, in general. As victories mount, so too will resistance. I should have looted it with him just because he had stress, just in case we didn't get the loot. But Actually, 194 average. Yeah, that's good, man. Bowling, yeah. Did you bowl in your... Plague Doctor Mask. Three spiders. Might be a little hard to do that. Oh, bad dodge. Use our higher accuracy move there. Executed with him. I think we're fine against the spiders. I guess we'll take a buff on our Hellion. Sure. She wasn't hitting hard enough. So we'll add an additional 20% damage. <laughs> Just running a bunch of tests right now. Yeah, the best thing to do, like I said, if you um, uh, mess with the overclock on your graphics card is just like do it a little at a time and then run that like overnight. And it might take you a long time to get the absolute best settings that you can have on yours, you know, safely and uh, all that, but it's worth it in the long run. So we're going to kill the uh, Bloodler first, just because this is Apprentice. These ones back here aren't going to do too much damage. They can crit. I mean, we've already had Cutthroat crit a couple of times tonight, but... This guy can crit with point blank shot, which is much worse. And he has two moves that cause stress, even if he doesn't crit. So, take care of it with size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Man, has Sarah been critting quite a bit too, actually? Oh, surely. Uh, Blinking Fire got to go first. No crits, though. We're good. Oh. 
Might as well get a stress heal. Our Hellion should kill this, so. Four sixes. Well, that's the devil's heal. Oh, and she did. of course, of course she missed. <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything. Oh yeah, she'll definitely kill. Ghoulish horrors. That's the game. Yeah. And driven into the mud. <laughs> Well, I really thought we were going to get an affliction. We had to camp twice by the time we got to this room. Uh, but yeah, the rest of the dungeon went really well. In a big part because of the map. Because of the map, we weren't getting surprised. Um, which helps so much. Map's such a good trinket. 50 frames, launch it, play game. 600 frames. Uh, <laughs> it's crazy seeing those numbers, but you might want to limit it. So that you're, it's not like overworking when it. Oh, we got Kirby freaking Bone Rabble. <laughs> Most games have it where you can limit your uh, frames. Generally, I set it to the same as the monitor's top ref or the monitor refresh rate. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is cool to see that. I remember when I was when I played WoW a lot in the early days of WoW. I used to play like 15 frames per second. I used to raid heal. This is before I started becoming a, a main tank and a guild leader. Very early on, I used to raid heal at like 15 frames out in the world. And then in the dungeon, sometimes during boss fights, it would get down to like eight frames. And to make my frame rate higher, I would put my character in a corner facing a wall and I would zoom like I would zoom in. So all I could see is the wall. And then I'd play, you know, uh, whack-a-mole my heals on the healing or whatever the uh, the raid. And then I upgraded to a, a much better computer and just seeing the high numbers was like, this momentum. Push let's on see how many frames I can end. get. Hey, Senior Low. I'm doing okay. Kind of a bad night in the dungeon, but uh, <laughs> uh it's dark as dungeon, man. We had a really unlucky dungeon. We lost level six uh, Hellion. Any motion oh, sickness? My whole Epic problem solver. It's the only way I can get enough frame rate to actually be able to heal. Go to a corner and zoom in on a rock or something. Nymphomania and Syphilis. Orchestra. Come on, Orchestra. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment below. Also, subscribe to the channel by clicking this button. It helps out a ton. And after all of that, be sure to check out the next video right up here. Of course, as always, thank you guys for watching.